Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. Uh, will my ex come back? Uh, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for uh, November 2022. So we're gonna. Uh, so these. Uh, this reading is for uh, the Aquarians that are currently entertaining the idea of wanting to reconcile uh, reconcile with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you, or both of you guys are looking for that. So we're gonna take a look at your mutual energies between you and your ex. We'll see what happened between you guys that caused the separation, and then we'll finish off the read to see if there's gonna be reconciliation between you two. So apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates uh keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below okay so Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius here. What is the current mutual energies between Aquarius and their ex for November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. Even though I'm asking about the mutual energies here, you guys, it could be just one of you guys thinking and feeling this way, okay? So just apply this to your own unique situation. Tell me about Aquarius. Mutual energies between Aquarius and their ex for November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. All right, Eight of Swords. Okay. Seven of Swords, oh. You know, I feel like this is not a very honest, um, uh, situation here between you and your person i feel like there is a lot of fear and anxiety that someone here is lying to them or that someone here is just not basically not telling the truth nine of wands and a seven of cups i mean someone here is tired of one person going out there and exploring other options and not being honest about it okay um whoever you're dealing with here i feel like this person just you know doing really dandy doing fine Okay, if this person's like being deceptive and lying to you, lying to other people, this person's actually okay with that. Okay, which is really, really creepy. Could be dealing with the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Sun. Maybe you're dealing with the Leo here. You might have Leo in your chart, but uh, someone here is definitely not being honest here with you. I feel like you separated from this individual, and I feel like you might be talking to this per person peripherally, and I feel like this person's still lying to you. Okay, so uh, Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Okay, Eight Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Seven of Swords here, and the Six of Swords. Okay, this is a person that's not being honest. Okay, this is a person that's doing things behind your back. This person's not honest with how they feel about you. Okay, so Aquarius, this Queen of this King of Wands could be you right here. This is you just happy and dandy on your own doing your own thing here and not worrying about a single thing about this person here uh the nine of wands ace of cups the seven of cups and the hermit here virgo energy you know i feel like someone here you know i feel like their feelings are starting to bubble up here i feel like it, it's starting to weigh very heavily on them but i feel like they're trying to like run from it or distance themselves from it because i feel like this person's falling in love with you I mean, this person could have been out there exploring other options, but these options are like, meh, and now they want to be with you. Tell me about the King of Wands here. You have the Two of Wands, the Sun, and the Four of Swords. You know, right now, I feel like you might, might be in this energy of sort of like disengaging from this person, and you don't want to be an option for them, you know? You don't want to be second best. And, you know, you could be realizing oh, that you're having an awakening that you deserve better and not, you know, you know, be someone's second best. Yeah. Uh, what happened between um, Aquarius and their ex that caused the separation here? What happens between Aquarius and their ex that caused the separation here? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for November 2022. What caused the separation between Aquarius and their ex? 
Nine of Cups and the King of uh, Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. We got the Seven of Wands here and the Ten of Pentacles. The Lovers here and the Ace of Swords. You know, I feel like we have someone here that was pushing prosperity away. Yeah. One of the things I, I'm getting is that I feel like this person was not honest about not being ready for a relationship or with you. And I feel like this person just sort, sort of like went with it and they were uncomfortable with it, okay? The Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, yeah, they were just not really ready, ready to share their cups here with you. The Seven of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This person that you were dealing with here, Aquarius, I feel like someone here definitely was pushing prosperity away okay you got the lovers and the ace of swords okay i feel like th this could have been the very victorious and in a successful connection but it, it just seemed like someone here was pushing it away someone here might have recognized that yeah someone here is having strong feelings yeah things could turn out great but i feel like someone here sabotaged it okay the nine of cups king of swords Libra, aquarius gemini the knight of pentacles here and temperance this could be you I don't know. I feel like, you know, I feel like this person had, your, your person had a couple of options here, I feel. Two options. A king of swords and a king of wands. Thing is, I feel like you're that king of wands, Aquarius, okay? Tell me about the seven of wands here. You have a ten of swords, wow. Ten of pentacles and a queen of pentacles here. There was definitely a betrayal. Could be a situation that this person lied about their discretions here. Maybe this person had another relationship. Yeah, they were dealing with another relationship. The lovers, seven of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the fool. Yeah, this is something that, you know, you don't want to deal with, okay? And I feel like you just, you know, saw the truth for what it is, and I feel like you just left uh, Aquarius, the fool. Aries energy also could be Aquarius. So Aquarius, you might have like some, you know, definitely Aries, uh, no, Aquarius energy in your chart, but you might have some Aries in your chart here, okay? Uh, will there be reconciliation, will there be a reconciliation between Aquarius and their ex? Will there be a reconciliation between Aquarius and their ex for uh, November 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for Aquarius. Will there be a reconciliation between Aquarius and their ex? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. We have the Two of Pentacles and the King of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups and the Knight of Wands and Justice. Um, no, I don't think there will be a reconciliation. If, if even if this person tried to reconcile with you, you know, I feel like there will be juggling here because it seems like your person has a couple of options here. Like I said, King of Cups, we have, there's like three different kings here. Okay, uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, we have some here that's missing you, okay? Or that this person could be missing other exes here too. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, with the Knight of Wands, this person that's playing around here, I feel like they could be facing their karma. And this is karma that you don't want any a part of. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Justice, Libra, Energy, Two of Pentacles. You know, Two of Cups, King of Cups in the world. Yeah, you're definitely closing this cycle out. Yeah, you don't want any, you don't, you, you basically don't want to take on this person's baggage here. Six of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So you're leaving this behind. You're looking towards the future here. You're basically letting this person rot in their karma. Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, so, uh, I mean, Queen of Swords. So this, this, is, this is your person right here. Yeah, this person's definitely going to rot in their karma. It's like they're holding on to dear life. It's going to hit them pretty hard and they're going to they're going to regret it pretty badly, I feel. Okay? So, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.